Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Rogue Tower. So this is a roguelite tower defense game, which means loads of upgrades, loads of killing things, and unfortunately, another very, very addictive game. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on at the moment. It's just addictive games for days. Anyway, we'll get into it and I'll show you how it works. And then we'll go through some upgrades. So we start off, we start off squinting because it's so small. <laughs> Can you make this bigger, please, devs? <laughs> So we're just going to do single defense. Uh, you can see our current record, level 19. So we start off with this. The pillar of fortuitousness. Or something like that. Basically, this is our castle thing that we've got to defend. Now up the top, you can see how much health it has. Basically, every person that gets to it, you lose a number there. And when you get to zero, it's game over. Now there's a few other things, including gold. We've got a thousand of that. And down the bottom, these are our defenses. We've only got the ballista unlocked, just because I'm showing you how the game works as soon as you get it. Uh, that costs 50 gold, so we'll plonk one down on that corner. Uh, then you can see the next one, it costs 60 gold. So the more of these you put down, the more it costs. And then finally, you can expand the map by clicking expand. When you do that, you get a wave of enemies. So let's do that straight away. And there you go. Just one enemy, he got shafted straight away by that ballista. So now if we want to spend a bit more money on defenses, we can grab another ballista. And you'll notice, like, if I plonk this down here, there's, there's nothing going on. You just plonk it wherever. But if I put it a bit higher up, can you see we get plus two, plus three? So basically, the higher your towers are, the more damage they do. So we'll plonk that one on the plus three. And we'll probably grab another and put it on the plus two as well. And when you click on these, you can see what level it is, all the damage it does. You can change the priority of what you want it to shoot at. All sorts, all sorts. And this circle is the range it can see. So they're both in a good location, so let's expand. Oh, and I think we'll quickly bong one of those in the middle so we can take out a few of those. Oh. <laughs> they got annihilated. So that's the end of that wave. We've got 765 gold. I am going to keep shoving ballistas down, I think. We will make use of this high ground. And that's in a great location because it's in a circle. So you can see all of these. They can shoot 360 degrees. Uh, and here's our next wave. They <laughs> they are not lasting long. They, they got millered. And here's where the roguelite stuff comes in. So we get upgrades that we get to keep throughout our game. So the first one, mana bolts, that means we actually need a different resource, which we haven't unlocked yet, so there's probably no point in doing that one. Now these do plus one damage to shields, and this does plus one damage to health. So I think we'll go for the health one for now. We know everyone's going to have health, but only a few people will have shields. Uh, there's also armored enemies as well, so let's expand again. And oh god, can you see we've unlocked a different path? That means we get twice the number of enemies. Something to be aware of. But thankfully, with our ballista towers in the middle, they are getting mullered. Now, you may have noticed as well, there's like these little things. Can you see that? An iron vein? If we place a mine next to that, we gain iron as a resource. But that's another unlock thing. So we can only choose to do that if we get the card. And they're completely random. Right, for the next expansion, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go this way. So that these towers should do a bit of damage. Nice, you can see these towers, they are also leveling up as well. So the more they level up, the more damage they do, uh, the better they are, etc. Uh, this is going really well. I actually did terribly on my first round. Second one went okay, and this is my third round. Alright, so we'll notice up here there is a house. If we click on the house, it tells us every level this house gives you gold if you've got towers next to it. So basically, if you want some extra gold for not doing anything, you can just bung a tower next to it. I find, I find they're not really worth it. Because basically you only get the gold depending on what level your towers are. And like, these are only level 2, so that's 2 gold. Like a ballista costs 120, so over time it probably adds up. But I'm more worried about damage. So I'm going to shove that up there on 3. And another one there on 3 as well. And then we'll expand that direction. Oh no, we've got another doubler. It is possible as well to do an entire level without expanding in another direction like you, you can have like a single route like a long snaky route i uh, gotta be pretty lucky for that mate all right nice we got our next upgrade so we could do the shield damage we could improve our health damage or we could do one that slows people down i think we might do a bit of shield damage let's just make sure we're doing extra damage where possible and then i'm going to expand probably this direction in the hope that these ballista towers might hit them and then I might add another tower up there. All right, nice. That's looking good. Enemies aren't really getting past this cluster of towers. So I think things are going all right. We could probably do some towers over this side, actually. So I might plonk one in the middle. I think if we click on that, yeah, that's got a good radius. Very good radius. So let's expand perhaps that way this time. 
And then I might add some more towers along this ridge. I think that's quite a good location. Despite the heights not being too much. It's only plus one. But it's better than the kick in the balls, isn't it? I got quite a big little dude here. A big little dude. <laughs> uh, he's carrying a huge chicken drumstick. But uh, he didn't last long. The ballistas took him down a treat. All right, next up, before we expand again, I'm going to add some more towers. If I add one there, does that cover this path? Yeah, just about. Okay, that's quite a good location then. And then I can't afford any more because we've only got 33 gold. Oh, look, we got some height over here. We have some height. Loads of plus threes if we want it. Oh, and especially that ridge. If we expand behind, that would be very cool. Anyway, we better keep an eye on the battle. Again, no one really seems to be able to get past this cluster. They can't stop us now. Oh, God. I, I was worried that was a warning, but no, it was just, it was just self-confidence. Yeah, and there's the last guy. You can't stop us now. Yes, we can very much so. Oh, can we? Can we? Yes, we can. Phew. <laughs> that was close. Oh, now we've got my favorite unlock. Heavy shafts. <laughs> you can probably guess why. That does an extra one damage to armor as well. So we will select that and continue. I think we're going to go that direction. Do we have enough gold? 159. We need 180 for our next tower. So I think we'll just expand. Oh, no, it's a doubler. It's a doubler. Okay, this could be risky because we got a lot more enemies than we had last time. I might shove another tower on there. We've got to take out this clump. I think these ones should be okay. Yeah, they're going to go down. They're going to go down. I'm just worried about these. They've got like, they've got shields. Yeah, they've got shields. Well, and armor, it looks like. But it's okay. They're down. So right. What way are we going to expand? I think perhaps that way. I really want to build up this tower, but I got no gold. So we'll go that way. Oh, look, there you go. There is our first lump of mana. So we need to place a mana siphon next to that in order to gain it. And again, just a random unlock. So unless we get the unlock, it's not going to happen. Uh, oh, God, there's so many enemies. I might shove another one on that ridge. Yeah, it seemed like good placement, actually. They're not really getting too far. Nice. Oh, and this time they're bringing the logs. They've got a stack of logs that are coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these are actually, they're like sort of tanks. They're filled with people. So when you kill them, a load of enemies will jump out. Yeah, I'm going to need an extra tower. I might shove it there. And I might actually change some of these towers to do the most health enemy. Because at the moment, they're all shooting the first person, which we don't really want them to do. All right, here we go. Here's the tank. Here's the tank. They're trying to hurry. And then the people are out. Scatter. <laughs> But it's okay, we dealt with that. We dealt with that. Oh, and look at this, look. We've unlocked something new, a Tesla coil. Now, I haven't actually used those yet, and I would very much like to, but look, 25% bleed damage on our blisters, which would be amazing. Uh, but I really want to try out the Tesla coil, and I know they'll be cheap as well, because new towers are generally quite cheap. So let's give that a go. And oh god, they cost 200. They cost 200, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't really know how they work. I assume there's going to be like an area sort of scattering thing. So I guess junctions would be the best bet. So if I were to shove one there, let's just see. Oh, it's got a very small area. Okay, I'm going to move that. Thankfully, when you demolish things in this game, it doesn't cost you any extra. All right, so that up there, that would do plus two. And you can sort of see the circle. It definitely covers that area. So I think that's pretty good. Oh, bollocks. But it says mana use. Six per shot. Does that mean it's not going to do anything? Oh, balls. <laughs> well, we'll expand and we'll see. Will this thing shoot? Keep an eye. Let's keep an eye. No, it doesn't. We've got no mana. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. All right, let's demolish that then and shove a ballista up there. Plus three damage. Oh, that went so wrong. All these guys could be bleeding right now. I'm a bit worried as well. Once this tank goes, I'm not sure we're going to have the power to destroy all of them. So we're going to lose some lives. First time in the game. Oh, yeah, look, we're down to five. So five of them made it through. Yeah, that was just me not knowing what I'm doing. Anyway, let's expand that direction and then shove a ballista up there. Oh, I'm gutted. We could be doing bleed damage right now. Uh, we've got to be careful of these tanks. They do... They are getting people quite close to our tower again. Can only afford five more people to make it through. So I might set up some of these early ones to prioritize the most health. But nice, we survived another wave. I'm going to expand that direction. Well, and I got some money for ballistas. So I'm going to shove them on this ridge, I think. Plus threes. I'm going to change their priority to most health so we can start taking out the tanks and oh god look it's oogie we've got a boss 
We've got a boss. <laughs> right, I think this could be game over. I'm really not prepared for a boss, I don't think. <laughs> Look at that tech. Look at that. Oh, no, they've got so close. It's okay. It's okay. They're down, Matt. They're down. Don't panic. Look at all these tanks, though. Yeah, I'm not feeling confident. I am not feeling confident at all. Look at Ugi. He's still on three quarters of his health as well. And we got the tanks to deal with. Oh, we might be okay. Depends how many people will make it through. I think Ugi should go down. I'm just worried about these tanks. Come on, come on. Kill them. Kill them. All right, they're down. If that tank explodes, though, which it's going to, there's going to be... Please be less than five. Please be less than five. Oh, we killed one. Oh, we're down to one person. <gasps> that was tight. All right, so the end of that wave, we've unlocked a new upgrade. I'm not going to go with the test coil because we don't have any mana. I will go heavy shafts, which is two damage to armor. So thank you. And then you'll notice where we killed Ugi. Well, maybe you won't notice. But behind there, we can't quite see our two treasure chests and each one is an upgrade. So let's open that and we can do two damage to shields or we can increase in range. I think we'll do extra damage. I think we got quite good coverage. And then this other one uh, will do plus two damage to health. So select that. Now you see down the bottom, you can see how everything's stacking up. So our ballistas are actually bloody good. Now I just I really could do with the bleed damage again though. Right, anyway, we've got 800 gold to spend. I feel like I might just shove some more. I think I'll put one on that tower. One there and one there. And then we'll expand in that direction. Oh, look at that. Because last, last round I played off camera, I had like mortars and everything. So I could do really good area damage. Uh, not, not the case this round. <laughs> Although our ballistas seem to be doing all right damage. People aren't guessing too far. It's just these tanks that are a bit of a worry. Oh, and these guys, I think they're armored. They're pretty tough. Although that one is now... I was going to say dead. Come on, someone shoot him. Someone shoot him. There you go. He's dead. Good work. Hey, rise for you. All right, so we've cleared most of the wave. It's just these super strong dudes. I think they've got armor. Although we should be doing plus three to armor, it says down here. Oh, man, they are really making it through. That is not good. Come on, take them down. They've got so much armor left. I think, think that could be the end. I don't think we can survive that oh dear i hate how slow it is it's like a slow painful incoming death oh anyway and like all good roguelike games you get to see how well everything did so because we only use ballistas there's only the ballista column filled in. <laughs> but if we head back to the main menu now we've done a bit of gameplay uh, we've got loads of experience and all sorts and if we go to this button upgrades look at this page it's insane basically there's two types of upgrades we got the permanent ones which are down here and then on this side, we've got the actual upgrade cards. So this gives us more options of the upgrading things. So we should have got a Morse unlock. And then we can unlock various different upgrades for that. But then we can also come. We can be like, yeah, I want a flamethrower. I'm going to unlock a flamethrower. So I just spent 30 XP. We'll get a flamethrower if we want one. Yeah, but there's so many things. I've got 866 XP remaining. I think I might just spend it on all of these permanent upgrades. So we can draw an additional card. I think that's worth doing. Now we can make enemies drop more gold and start with an extra 100 gold. Here we go. We can make sure we always have mana. That's worth doing. And we can increase our tower's hit points. That means we'll have 11 rather than 10. Right, there you go. So I've spent all my points on something. Let's go back to the main menu and let's do another round. And let's see if we get anything good. So obviously we start with our ballista. And because of our permanent upgrades, we've already got plus one health, armor, and shield damage. And look, we are slowly gaining mana as well. So if we get any upgrades that require it, we'll be able to use them straight away. Aha, and look, we have four cards this time and we've got all sorts of new things. Is it worth trying the tester coil? I think it might be. So let's grab a tester coil, select, and then we're going to shove one. I think that is a perfect spot. So when we expand this time, we should be able to see how it works because we have mana finally. Ooh, oh, it does. It does area damage. Ooh, yes. Okay, that is a good location for that. I'll tell you what then, I might actually move that tower, put a Tesla on there instead, and another Tesla on there, because these S-bends are like the perfect spot. I'll obviously shove another one there. That's good. Let's expand again. This is a crazy level. It's like, it's just a straight line. Now, that is another good place for a Tesla as well. Right, look, they've hit the corner. They're going to get double tested in the middle. Oh, beautiful. Nice. I'm not entirely convinced how powerful the testers are and uh, we're actually down to 
three mana. Yes, that's not great. I was hoping I could just wait here while it recharges, but um, <laughs> we might have to go easy on the old Teslas. In fact, it might be worth if I get rid of that one. I can shove it up here because that does a plus one damage, so it makes more sense to be in that location. Now I'm going to shove another Ballista and put it there. Then I've only got 24 gold left, so let's expand. Oh my, what is this level? It's so straight, but not straight. It's very bendy. All right, so Tesla is sort of not doing too much. We, we're out of mana constantly. Uh, not ideal. I might actually demolish that tower and just do a ballista just to make sure we survive without losing any lives. Oh god. Oh god. Are we going to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was close. That was very close. Oh, but look at this. One of our unlocks is sorcery. We gained three mana generation per second. And I think that's worth doing because we haven't unlocked the mortar. Oh no, that is to unlock the mortar. Oh, oh. I feel like on this level though, mortar's not great. Mortar's sort of better for like area attacks where you've got different arms coming into one location. So I think I'll just do that one and we'll stick with the Teslas. I think I will shove one up there as well. All right, let's expand and see how we get on. So we can see the damage the Tesla is doing. It's doing all right, actually. It's killing all the little, the small people which means our ballistas can focus on the bigger guys. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I am potentially thinking of losing the Tesla down here. It makes more sense to have it at the start when enemies are grouped up. I think a ballista might be better down this end. But nice, that is another wave survived. Now we've just about got the gold for another ballista, so I'll probably shove one on that tower, plus three damage, and then we'll expand. Oh, that's a perfect location. If only Tesla had a bigger range, that would be ideal. Yeah, but yeah, lots of enemies on this one because we've got three arms coming in not great i was enjoying the one-way system we had now look at this the teslas are doing the damage beautiful they're getting a little bit close for my liking oh god go on hit him oh god <laughs> that was close uh, right next up what direction should we expand I feel like i feel like two things i might actually remove that tesla then I can spend it on ballistas. And I feel like a ballista there would be ideal. So yeah, let's demolish out. I assume a Tesla up there won't hit anything, will it? Oh no, it will. Okay, that is the new spot for the Tesla. And then we'll expand that direction. Oh yes, look at that. The perfect spot. It's almost 360 degree madness. Look at it. <laughs> and then over here, we're killing them again. Yeah, this is good. This is a good layout. All right, and then do I need a ballista on there? Or shall I try and... I was thinking if I can put one up here, we should be able to get both sides. So let's shove one there. Yeah, you can see the area. It covers loads of that. So that's great. Uh, next up, we got four upgrades. We could get a mortar tower, perhaps. I feel like it might be better to focus on what we have. Maybe the frost bolts so we can slow enemies down. Let's select that one. And we'll expand that direction. Nice. You can see our blister over there is reaching these guys as well. So that's good. If we can get like two rows and then just cover this middle ridge in loads of different things, we should be good. This new tower is now reaching back over the original side as well. Although these guys have quite a lot of strength. There's the big chicken drumstick dude. Uh, hopefully we can take him out. I think when they're blue, can you see a little blue bar? That's, that's to show that they're, they've got the frost damage. They're doing, they're going a little bit slower. Oh, that was close, Lou. That was close. All right, I'm going to shove a few ballistas up on that ridge. We'll expand that direction. Perhaps do a Tesla there. Or I could just make this like a Tesla island. I could proper lease that in Teslas. What is the range? Oh, I might not reach. I'd love to just like Tesla all of this up, though. Because all the enemies have to run through this area. It could rinse our mana, though, if they're all in one place. At least when they're spread out, you have time to like gain some back. All right, these guys are getting a little bit close. Come on, towers. Take them down. There we go. There we go. All right, let's expand in this direction again. Oh, look, we got our first house of the entire map. I'm going to shove a ballista up there. Does that reach? Oh, yeah, it does. That's pretty good. That reaches both sides. And then new upgrades. So we could slow them down even more. Or we could increase our ballista damage or the Tesla damage to shields. Yeah, let's take out some shields with our Teslas. I like the sound of that. And then we'll expand back in this direction. Oh, and I'll tell you what, if I can afford it, I want to shove a Tesla on that hill. But unfortunately, these tanks are getting a bit close, so I just had to spend my money on the ballistas. I really, I need to start upgrading my ballistas, I think. So these tanks are getting close. I need 210 gold to afford another one. I got 133. Oh god, they are getting close. Shove another one up there. That should just about do it. Oh god. Oh, it's tight. It is tight. Phew. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. 
Oh, that was terrifying. All right, we've only got 100 gold, so we'll just expand. And I love the start of the rounds with this Tesla. I need to get more up there. I need to try and save money, but I can't. All right, things looking reasonably good. We got a few tanks there. They are getting mullered by the old Teslas. Good work. All right, I can afford another Tesla now. But I'm keeping an eye on these just in case I need to shove something down to stop them. I think we're fine, actually. I've shoved another Tesla on here. I want to cover this in Teslas. It'll just be like the Death Island. And I'll shove another ballista down there as well. Yeah, we're going to continue expanding this road just because it gives us loads of time. I think deal with these guys first. Oh, look, it's Oogie. Oogie is in the house because I feel like it's a bit dodgy over here. I could definitely use some more ballistas on this ridge. Because Oogie has a lot of health. We've like barely done anything. Oh god, they are getting close. They are getting really close. All right, focus on Oogie now, boys. I've just sold a few towers and moved them down here. The downside with that is when they level up, like that one just did, when you sell it, you go back to level one. But I'm glad I did move it down here because look, Oogie is getting mullered. Did not stand a chance. Although the bloody chests are hidden again. We can't see them. All right, next up. Do we go with a mortar tower finally? Or do we just give our blisters one range? Let's do mortar towers. You guys haven't seen that yet. Let's see what they're like. And while we're here, we should probably open some chests. So we'll take this one. Our bolts do an extra damage to shields. And we'll open this one to make our bolts make people slower. Nice. Oh, look, and there's another chest. That was hiding. Uh, yep, we'll, do, we'll have some heavy shafts. I like that. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. All right, so what I want to do, I think a mortar here would be quite good. Are any of these a low level? They're all level three. Maybe a mortar just on this hill. Let's see the range. Oh, the range is fantastic. So we've got a mortar here. Let's expand that direction. Keep an eye on this. Look, it can hit, it can hit all the way over there. And it does area damage. It's pretty good at the very start when we're trying to thin out the crowds. Right, nice. I think the mortar will turn its attention to these guys now. Yeah, there you go. It's coming in. They're getting mullered. Although that wasn't a very good shot. <laughs> All right, I've survived a few more rounds. We're getting some of these tougher enemies. They have just made it through the death area. That is not a good sign. Thankfully, they're slowed down. Come on, guys. Take them out. There's quite a few of them. They're all on low health, so we might be okay. There we go. Just one remaining. Come on. One more hit. One more hit. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I went a little bit crazy with the mortars in the middle. Look, it launches four at once. Boosh. <laughs> Love it. Aha, and look, we've got a load of upgrades. I think we're going to go with flaming bolts. Deals 25% burn damage. Yes, please. And then we'll expand again. I might want to focus on more ballistas now. Because if we look here, yep, these bats, they are on fire. So they are hurting all the time, which is beautiful. So you can see some of these guys, they're burning like 70 a second. So I think it stacks up. So the more hits they get, the bigger their burn damage. Yeah, that was 124 burn damage. <laughs> oh, so this death area, should anyone make it down this strip, it's going to be brutal. Yeah, they, they just die instantly. It's amazing. All right, so we're on level 20. This would be my record if we can beat this. Uh, it's going pretty well. I got five mortars now. Absolutely mullering down here. And of course, when they get to this stretch, it is the death area. Although the, there is a tank that's made it. Not ideal. Although, yeah, look, this this area is just... No one's getting past that. No one. I'm going to shove a mortar there. Because that pretty much covers everywhere up here. And we're about to expand into our final area there. So when we click expand here, you can see this is where they all come from. Brains. Oh, are they zombies? They're saying brains. I think they're actually zombies. I thought they were just architects. Well, that's definitely lowered my motivation to kill these guys. All right, you can see our mana is always pretty low, so there's no point adding any more Teslas. We're going full ballistas and mortars now. All right, here we go. So we can increase our tower's max health. Don't think we'll bother with that. Oh, we could increase burning or the area effect of mortars. Ooh, I think I'm going to do fire. Kill them with fire. And then I'll keep... Placing ballistas everywhere. Oh god, they are rushing. They are rushing. But I think we're okay. Those guys are pretty strong. What the hell are they? They're like ghosts. Quick! It's right. Death area never lets us down. I might shove a Tesla in down here. Because I feel like by the time they actually make it down there. Like these other ones are sort of done. So I think the mana situation should be okay. Although it's getting a bit dangerous down here. Oh no. 
Oh, I thought we we're going to get someone sneak through there. What the hell? There's like... I thought they were ducks. <laughs> I think they're just skeletons. Oh, wow. I might need to improve my death area, though. People are making it through. No. Take him down. Ooh, it's okay. It's okay. No, we lost a life. We're losing lives. Oh, no. These, these four might make it through. Come on. Shoot. Oh, no. So you can see now our tower lives are going down. Oh, we're on six. But we're on to the next expansion. So we'll add another one. I'm a bit worried how many tanks are at the back of this wave. We're on wave 24. But we survived to get another upgrade. Let's do extra damage to our mortar. And then we'll add another mortar next to this one. Oh, and there's a new boss. The zombie Oogie. Oh god, he looks tough as anything. Alright, I'm going to buy some more ballistas. Or I don't know for where, for there, I guess. Where is the zombie Yugi? Oh, he's down there. He is down there. Oh, God, these guys are getting close. I'm a bit worried. That's a lot of health there. There's our tower. We've only got six lives remaining, remember? God, they got so much health. No, the bat made it through. That's right. We survived just now. There's just those guys. And the zombie Yugi. Can we take him down? He is burning so much. <laughs> I find it sort of ironic that he's burning and he's frozen, so he can't move fast. But I'm fairly confident. I think we can take him out. He's the only person left on the map. I just wish there was a fast forward button. All right, now he is in trouble. He's getting laced with the old mortars. Oh, and he ejected some small people. Oh, God. Take him out. Take him out. No, it's okay. They're down. They're down. And Boogie Woogie is down. All right, so we've got some chests. Let's open them up. Ooh, Tesla coils poison damage. Yes, please. Oh, and the flamethrower. We could try a flamethrower, but it uses mana, which we're sort of running out of. I want to see what it looks like, though. So sod it. Let's see. So flame tower. We're going to shove that and we'll expand that direction, right? Let's have a look at the flames. Ooh, nice. But yeah, the trouble is it does use mana, so I probably want to go easy on that and just stick with the old ballistas. Oh, and a mortar, of course. You can see now, every time you beat a boss, I, th I think the time of day changes. So you can see it's like sort of dusky now. I wonder if we'll survive till night time. Probably not. They're getting very close to our tower. This could actually be the end. I may have cocked this. Oh, no, we're going to lose a life. We lost a life. Oh, I think that's the end. I think that's the end, guys. Yeah, our tower is down. There we go. Game over. We defended 25 levels, eh? You see, total damage, ballistas were the best, but they did cost the most. The most damage per gold was actually the Tesla. But yeah, that was Rogue Tower. Super fun, super addictive. And look, we've got all these upgrades that we can buy again. Oh, God. Anyway, guys, peace, love, and Rogue Towers. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.